Number seven? Okay, number seven. You should have multiple categories of return on investment. Now, this is what I meant by this here. You're going to have a, you're going to get a lot of your customers for free, Pam Norris, whether through your blog or whatever, and they're going to have a, as a return on investment you're going to have. And of course, that, that mathematically, that's going to be infinite because you got them for free, right? To the mathematical return on investment, it is infinite, but let's put a dollar amount on it just just because we can. But you're going to find out that all your free customers buy your $15 product, whatever that may be. Okay. So for free, you make 16 bucks or 15 bucks. Now you can quantify that now. Now you can say at 16 bucks, if I want to create X amount of salaries, then I need to reach. This is what you saw for X at. Let me. Let me say it. If I'm making 15 bucks, then I want to create salaries. And I know that 150 people got this, then what I'm going to do is I'm now going to say, I want to, I want to get, I want to create eight salaries and I pay people, I'll just use my numbers, $22 an hour minimum wage. Okay. So $22 an hour minimum wage. Grace, take over for me. This is what you do better than me. Grace is going to share her screen and solve for X. I'm going to tell you why you do this. Here. Huh. You, you're going to solve for X. Don't worry about it. I, I'll, I'll re-give you the numbers. Just share your whiteboard. Okay. This is what Grace does for me in the office. This is what we do. Okay, Grace, I want to solve for X, but let me give you everything else first. I okay. know that... I know... Out of a thousand free customers, they spent on average fifteen dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also know that I want to hire twenty-two people. I mean, eight people at twenty-two dollars an hour. I'll do some math here for you. Twenty-two times forty—that's one week. That's eight eighty times four, that's 3520 So while they're paying me $5, you know, excuse me, $15, you can start drawing that, Grace. They're paying me $15. I want to get $3,520. That's per person. But I want to do that eight different times, Okay. So my number is, I got you, times eight. So the total number I want to get is 28,160. Okay. So I'll repeat all this to you so you can have your, yes. your better solve for X. Thank you. I had 1,000 people give me $15. And so you might want to, you might want to clear all that since I'm giving it to you straight now. A thousand people gave me fifteen dollars. I mean, excuse me. A piece. A thousand people gave me fifteen dollars a piece. Oh. Okay. So for every thousand people, I earn whatever fifteen times a thousand is. Fifteen. All right. So fifteen thousand dollars, and I want to bring in twenty-eight thousand one hundred and sixty dollars. That's what I want to bring in. $28,160. And I come to Grace and I say, Grace, how many people, how many more free customers do I need to go get to get to this number? I know it was 1,000 that got me to 15,000. How many more people I need to go get now, Grace, to go get to this 28,160? There you go. So now she solves for X. So what I'm missing here is how many do I need to go get? Oh, well, since we know that 
15,000 divided by 1,000 is 15. You take the 28,160 divided by 1,000. Okay, so it's about and 282 equals... people. If you round, it'll be 282 people. Because it'll, it's actually 281.6. All right. Thank you very much. And you can, you can close that now. I just need to go get me 200. And I, I'll unmask this for y'all, okay? You, you got to have somebody like me and Grace in the back office doing it, okay? And then we'll make it simple. I unmask it, and it basically says, Pam Norris, go out there and go get 282 people more. And you can hire eight, eight people. Now, with this full workforce, go tell them to do everything y'all been doing. And now you'll be making $100,000 a month because you got more people now. Got me? Lots of math, lots of weirdness, but there you go. Number 